puppies all the time. Because at this age, everybody loves puppies. In two weeks' time, everybody loves puppies. In two months' time, everybody hates your puppy that doesn't behave. So teach them, even if there are people there, they can be ignored. Yeah, so they can just do their own thing. I well, not like me, that is. Um, so you just, also you have to teach your, your puppy different things. Um, so traffic, going on holiday, going uh, visiting. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna take your puppy out to a cafe in the summer, you go, you go for a walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tell you about walking back. Um, for, for the girls, that's a really good question. Uh, how can you tell if another dog's gonna be okay with puppies? Body language. They, they don't understand our language. They don't understand English, they don't understand Dutch, they don't understand French or German or whatever. They understand body language. And um, if a dog comes up to your puppy and it's really tight and it stares at your puppy and the tail comes up and the ears come forward and it starts stalking, so it starts moving really slowly, lift your puppy off the ground. Okay. Just, just lift him up. Um, there's a lot of discussion about can you lift a puppy up or are you going to make him more scared uh, of the other dog. Leah, 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 most dogs are more tense on leash because they can't uh, show their normal behavior. Uh, normal dogs greeting is never like this. If they go up to each other, it's a straight line, nose to each other, and they do that. If it's guys, if it's males, that's going to end up in trouble. And it might not end up in a fight, but it's still going to be a lot of tension. Normal dogs. If they greet each other, they make a sort of circle. Mm. They circle around each other. They don't sniff each other's bums, first of all. They sniff around the ears and around the face. That's a normal, polite greeting. If a dog goes straight up to the back, to under the tail, and lifts the puppy up, and they sniff like that, that's rude. That's not nice dog greeting behavior. That's just rude. That's all Ga je ook nog aan de oren zien van uh, ja. volwassen hond als hij op een pup afkomt dat je ja. denkt dat is niet goed? Ja, nou eigenlijk is het hele plaatje. Het gaat dus eigenlijk om de hele spanning. Dus als hij op zijn tenen loopt en stijf loopt, dat is, dat is niet goed. Dat en vaak zien dan de oren vrij ver naar voren. Ja, ja. Maar hij kan ook stijf lopen met zijn gewicht iets naar achter en zijn oren naar achter. Die wil je helemaal niet nee. kunnen hebben. Nee, nee, nee. Want dan weet hij het niet zeker. En dan weet je bijna zeker zelf dat het niet goed gaat. En dan moet je dat dan uh, stoppen? Weg. Ja, maar hij kan jou ook pakken. Het kan al te laat zijn. Nee, dat is al niet zo dat ik jou kan. Dus wat ik, zou, um, wat ik zou doen is, of je tilt je puppy rustig op en wacht tot de hond gekalmeerd is. Je overlegt even met de eigenaar. God, ja. gaat het goed als ik hem rustig ja. neerzet? Als hij zegt, ja. Als het is, want tuurlijk, dan zou ik altijd de tijd als we hebben. Maar als ze zeggen, nee, nee, het gaat eigenlijk altijd goed, mits ze niet in zijn gezicht springen. Nou, als je je puppy kent, puppy springen altijd in het gezicht. Dus dan kun je beter zeggen, nou weet je, wacht maar eventjes, ja, ja. tot het iets groter is, misschien volgende week. You give them less in the bowl. It's really easy, you don't give and, and, it's not and. It's, it's my puppy, uh, we're going to talk about rewards in a minute, but uh, basically it's everything you want to teach your dog is reward. I would reward based. I, I don't work with corrections because they don't know. You can't tell a dog no until it knows what it does have to do. Yeah. Yeah. And for puppies, they can only be puppies. They can't think like us. They can't think, oh, she probably wants me to sit there. <laughs> That's the door, I want to go outside. So, <laughs> um, so you've got to teach me. But um, you can. I'm going to show you a bowl in a minute, what's in there, what you can use for treats, but you can also use their own food for treats. When puppies come into my house, breakfast is training time. They don't get a bowl of food, they get... Uh, probably next week. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, talking about rewards. What are rewards for a puppy? What do you think are rewards for a puppy? Attention. Attention, very good. So, eye contact and touching, yeah. What else? Playing. Play, very good. 
Food. Food. Food? Yeah. Go outside. Yeah, go outside. Playing with other dogs. Also a reward. A good voice, yeah. Uh, loads of different rewards. But the one thing you've got to remember is that for something to be a reward, the one that's receiving it has got to see it as a reward. A lot of people want to reward by saying, Yay, good puppy. Oh, that's my iPhone. <laughs> puppy. <laughs> uh, yay, good puppy, and think, well, because I'm happy and I say it's a good dog, that should be enough. Um, if we look at our society, how we as mammal, any mammal, work, we repeat behavior that's rewarding. And that can be fun, it can be going outside, it can be water, it can be food, it can be tension. But it's got to be something that the dog wants to have at that time. Um, most of the time, we work for rewards. I mean, I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't get something in return. I got lunch, mm -hmm. and I get um, uh, advertising, and you know, and a little bit of money. Uh, but you work for money. There, of course, there are people that work because it gives them a good feeling. That it's volunteer work. But somewhere there's money coming in because they've got time for volunteer work. Um, if there's nothing uh, attached to what you're doing work-wise, you know, if your boss says, "Well, you know, you've had four months of pay," I think next month you know what to do, so it's not really worth paying you anymore. Month five, are you still going to go to work? Be honest, probably not. Most likely you're not going to go to work. Same thing with dogs. They'll uh, repeat behaviour that, that is successful for them. Attention, food, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dus je maakt even, jullie hebben even geen voorkeur. Uh, het gaat er vandaag ook alleen maar om een aantal basisdingen die alle puppies moeten leren. Zoek even een ander plekje op met je puppy. Ik heb het Kom maar. Ja, dat was die weer. Hè. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Kom maar. Ja. 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 En die neusjes nou, alle kanten op. Want dat ze doe je goed. Overal voelen. Nee. Heb je zoiets van. Nee, dat is niet goed. Ja, klopt, ze zijn er. Wow, geweldig. Ja, ik moet van afstappen. Ik moet gaan schreeuwen als ze maar aandacht hebben. Nee, mensen zien niet altijd komen. Oh, lekker. Ik ga vanuit juist. Probeer het voertje. Ja, want anders is de aandacht. Ja, dat is het. Dat is het. Nee, 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 nee,